Today, we are going to make a three yard quilt from the new three yard quilt book, Make It Modern from Fabric Cafe. Hi everybody, it is April and I am in my craft room. And today I am very excited to make a new quilt pattern from the new Fabric Cafe book, Make It Modern Three Yard Quilts. Now, I'm super excited because Fabric Cafe was kind enough to send me this book and Fran even signed it for me. So, makes it extra special. I am going to be doing the square up pattern. It was hard to pick because there are so many awesome patterns in this book. Let me show you. Hard to choose, right? But this one, I don't know, it just kind of spoke to me. I really liked it. I'll share a picture of it right about here. The fabric that I have chosen is by Moda and it's Robin Pickens and it's called Tulip Tango. Fabric one, which is my feature fabric, fabric two, and fabric three. I picked this fabric up from the Busy Lady Quilt Shop in Mount Washington, Kentucky, and I'm going to put a link to their shop below. They have great customer service. I love going there, and I am so thankful that they are so close to me. I am also going to be cutting my fabric using a True Cut Rotary Blade Cutter along with my True Cut ruler that I just have learned to use. I am a Grace Ambassador and I will also include a 20% coupon in the description below that you can use if you buy anything from the Grace Company. All right, let's get started. I cannot share the measurements with you because this pattern is owned by Fabric Cafe, but I will get everything cut out and then I will show you how to put it together. And you can go buy this pattern at fabriccafe.com. I will put a link in the description below. What is special about this ruler is there is a lip on this ruler on each side. This rotary cutter has two different attachments that go here. So you can change them out. This particular attachment will roll along that ledge. And as long as your ruler doesn't move, you get a straight line. Now to keep my ruler from moving, I've put true grips on the back. So they're little rubber rings that you put wherever you want on the back of your ruler and that keeps this ruler from sliding. Another cool thing that I just learned is you can actually personalize your rotary cutter. So it comes with this here, but if you wanted to put polka dot cardstock or whatever, you can personalize your rotary cutter. So if you wanted a rotary cutter that was specific for fabric and one that was specific for leather and one that was specific for, I don't know, whatever else you might have, you could actually put this on either side or you can just make it pretty. One of the great things about this particular pattern is all of your main strips are cut at the same width. You cut all of your strips per the instructions. You will put strip set one and two together. You will subcut those and put them together to make a four patch. Then you have fabrics two and three. You're going to do the same thing and then you have fabrics one and three and they get cut to make your four patch now the four patch is the center of your block so what we're going to do is we are going to take our four patch so this is fabric one and this is fabric three you will use the fabric that's not in this four patch and go around this block. So this is fabric two that goes around your four patch. And you sew the shorter pieces first. So then once you've put 
the shorter pieces on the ends, then you will add the longer pieces. That will give you this. So we add the shorter and the longer, and that gives us one of the blocks. There are three different blocks. There's this block, so you've got one and two in your four patch in the center, so three goes around that, and then one goes around that. And you put it together the same way we did the first block that I showed you. And the last block has fabric two and fabric three, so fabric one goes around that block, and then fabric two goes around the outside. Here are our three different blocks. So here you can see my blocks. I've put them on my design wall. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, 24 blocks. Now I need to sew all these together. And as far as borders, I'm not really following the pattern. I am going to take this fabric three and I'm going to put a thin border around the whole thing. And then I'm going to take this fabric, which is also part of the Tulip Tango line, and put a border all the way around that skinny fabric three border. Let me get the fabric three border around it and we'll see what it looks like. So I've put all the blocks together and then I've added this border around the outside. Now I have put this up on my design wall so that I can kind of audition it and see how I like it. I think I want to put another strip on the other side just to get a really good idea of how it's going to look. With my auditioning being all the way around, it gives me a better idea of whether or not I'm going to like the way it looks. I think I really like the way it looks. So let me add those borders and this quilt top will be done. My quilt top is complete. I have this big floral border around the outside and then all these blocks on the inside. This is not a hard quilt, but there is a lot of sewing and quite a bit of cutting as well. So don't think you're going to whip this up in an afternoon. If you do, I'm jealous, but I think the work involved is worth the quilt that you get in the end. Have a great day, eat some chocolate, and be kind to everyone. Until next time, bye. Which I've already said, let's try that again.